Okay, I'm at the National Harbor at the supercharge stations and I'm charging my car. I'm seriously charging my car. Hello, welcome to another edition of Don't Waste Your Time. This video may not be for you. My name is Purcell and uh, it is 4.30 in the morning. I'm about to get on the road and head to Timonium to get a little bit of surgery done on the rear applique. Remember what I told you about the rear applique. The rear applique can come in two stages. This is badging or the logo. And back here is also badging where you see Tesla and the logo. So. Uh, that's what we're going to replace and we're going to have a super duper uh, bright applique. So I uh, hope everything goes right and I'll give you some updates along the way. Now I'm about to begin my drive to uh, Timonium, Maryland, which is almost a two hour drive from where I live to get some work done on the Tesla. So I arrived safely in Timonium, Maryland, and this place right here, Automotive Concepts, is where my good friend Rick Heisel got his Model 3 interior done. You see where it says the leather interiors, the backup cameras, and the sunroofs. They also do automotive electronics, DVDs, entertainment, and navigation, where Rick got his seat covers done right here at Automotive Concepts. So I'm here for yet another surgery on my car which is the applique that will be coming up in a little bit. And here's the man. Come on, there he is, Doug. Doug has done it's Mr. Right Heisel's, <laughs> this is right on time. <laughs> Doug has done a cat skin with uh, Rick Heisel's car. Outstanding work. He's already been on YouTube, believe it or not. And I've had hundreds of likes because of your work. It's like a tooth extraction. Uh huh. All right, all right. So you're too. I've had that on my car at least three years. <laughs> at least three. Not sure what we'll be able to do about reaching that yet, unless we just. Because <clears throat> it's going to be a four wire going through it, right? Yeah, we're going to four wire. That's where the T, T used to be. So we have this, had this two piece T. We had wires here and a wire here. See where the wire here is on this one? The wire here is on this one. So that's why you had the two small holes up there. Well, the moving doesn't start until dark anyways, right? So now we're gonna go to the one piece T and the wires are off on the side. So that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so what's the purpose of this uh, V-shaped formation here? <laughs> I'm going to clean all the excess residue off there and we want to have the, the location of where the original one was. Okay. We're still going to measure it and mark the tape too, okay. but to make sure we get this in the same spot. Okay. And just clean up in there real good so that all the old residue is gone and the new residue will stick really well. So some people may look at this and say, well, you got two small holes and as we discuss, um, that T is going to fit on the small hole, but let's just say some water would get in there. Do you have anything to um, block water from getting in there? Water yes, family. <laughs> <laughs> we have silicone that we can put in there, okay. and it's waterproof silicone. Okay. Same thing we use to seal the windows that they put in the cars. Oh, great, great. Okay. It's not so bad, is it? You didn't know not it was going to be videotaped today, did you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's pull this down and attach this trap 47 and 3 quarters. And there. Work. It's, it's 
that. That's a good connection. Sorry. Uh, no, you're good. All right. I'll work around you. Cover those holes completely. Ooh. Oh, that's great. That looks good. 